Good evening, hello, and welcome to tonight's session broadcasting live from the London Foundry office in Soho, uh, not Soho Square, Golden Square. <gasps> Get my locations wrong, it's all this traveling we've been doing. We've been very busy bees this month, as you've probably seen. Lots and lots of broadcasts going out, lots and lots of good vibes and love coming back to us, which has been incredible. Tonight's session, we have been so excited about the prospect of everything converging and being able to tell a story that's going to help the planet using our software was something we just grasped on and we were like this is something we've got to tell we've got to get the guys in they've got to come and talk about it so i'm excited i hope you guys are excited just a little bit of background for some of you who might not be aware about this project um our guest speaker erwin will go into this in detail shortly um in 2010 Boy and Slat went diving and saw more plastic bags than he saw fish. And that got him thinking, and in his own words, it was a thought that couldn't leave his mind. In 2012, he did a TEDx talk that caught the imagination of a lot of people. Erwin was instrumental in this with the visualizations that he created for um, Boy and's talk. Boyan then goes to New York. You'll have to correct me, Owen, if I've got this wrong. <laughs> uh, Boyan then goes and does a talk in um, 2014 in New York, again with more visualizations that was created by Erwin and a team of designers. And it basically went bonkers, completely bonkers from there. Uh, started a crowdfunding project that raised 2.2 million US dollars. And this is now something that's actually gonna happen. Um, the guys were down earlier at the London um, Design Museum, which I guess you could talk about as well in a bit, mm -hmm. um, uh, to check out what's been going on there, down there, because there's an exhibition about it down there, and it's voting, and it was in the lead. Yeah. It well, was we were in there, the lead When we were today, there at noon, it, it was still in the lead. So, and is it <laughs> online, and can people vote? You have to go there to vote. Oh, uh, you have to go there. Anyone who's in London, <laughs> go there, vote. This is awesome. It's absolutely <laughs> incredible. So I'm not going to steal the thunder of the show. Um, if you've got any question for the boys, please use the hashtag TF Sessions. I'm just going to introduce everyone who's on um, the couch tonight. So we have Simon Lindenberg, who is our Modo product designer. Mm -hmm. Come in from Copen Gothenburg. Gothenburg. I always do this. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong country. Should but do, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Full park. Do, yeah, it's around that area. Yeah. That's so terrible. Sorry to our Nordic <laughs> friends. Um, also, we've got Courtney Price on the couch <laughs> from the foundry. He's in London. He's creative specialist here. And then we all have the wonderful Erwin Swart, who's going to be here from Fabric Computer Graphics. He's going to talk about the project available for questions if you've got anything any questions about the project or any tips and tricks that you want to know please use the hashtag i'll be back soon handing it over to you all right thank you very much Vix. thank you all right guys how yeah. you doing all right Good. fine yeah thank you erwin for uh, joining us this evening um so yeah, so this is a really interesting product project actually, and um, there's, um, there's a lot of like details to get into in terms of uh, how it's been put together and how you got involved. But before yeah. we do that, can we get a bit of background on yourself and the company that you represent, and you know sure. the work that you do? Yeah, uh, I started creating uh, computer graphics uh, like 25 years ago. Um, I, I have a background in aerospace engineering um, and uh, flight simulation, uh, sort of. A computer graphics itself okay mm -hmm. um, and we found it with a couple of uh, friends uh, a little bro a uh, little okay. design firm uh, uh, industrial designers uh, mainly and uh, yeah that uh, some of uh, some of them has grown to the largest Dutch uh, company creating websites oh right, brilliant. And, and others uh, are very very good in um, creating like bus stations and uh, all kinds of other products okay mm -hmm. uh, from sun blinds uh, and everything right, right. and uh, my part of that is uh, yeah computer graphics animation mm -hmm. okay. and but also a lot of uh, for them uh, a lot of uh, renderings sure sure so um, 
Ja, yeah, we do. Ja, uh, yeah, uh, over the years, uh, it's a long, long period. Yeah, uh, I've okay. done numerous uh, areas of uh, for tele television and products, and uh, yeah, the, the from right. atoms till uh, planets sure. and right, everything right. in between. Okay. So uh, a couple of uh, projects I um, I put in uh, to a little reel, okay. um, and all of them are rented in Modo uh, over the course uh, from Modo 401. Right, until brilliant. Now. So yeah. for a long time you've been yeah. a, a Modo user then. Yes, yes, yes. All right, yeah. brilliant. Let's, let's let's take a look at this uh, real then yeah this is an example of a large machi machine uh, imported uh, out of cut software okay i have to tweak of course uh, materials and somewhere uh, in, in, the, in the geometry but most of it is import and uh, there are pretty huge assemblies uh, they're coming out of uh, like saltworks and pro e creo okay. and uh, this, this one has like 2000 uh, items and that those are instance like 20,000. Okay. This was one of the first, it was Modo 401, okay. and uh, I jumped in like one week into Modo because because of the, the new feature loading SolidWorks. Yeah, the, yeah, the SolidWorks loader at, at the time. So yeah, and, and that was the only way to win in a particular uh, of, the, of the fences right. because it's all geometry. Yeah, this is also a machine that doesn't look so large, but uh, th yeah, it's also a huge amount of, of parts. Mm -hmm. And the beauty of, it, of this is that you can load it and start to render. And start straight to away. Yeah, straight away. And uh, I used to do this, these, these machines, and then you had to cut all extra parts that are not right. so visible Remove away. Stuff that is invisible. Yeah, yeah so. Try yeah. and reduce polygon yeah. count here and there. Yeah, yeah, and then you are busy for weeks, and then you haven't rendered one bit mm. yet. So right, okay. Yeah, so and that's uh, that's also what I do. Right. So <laughs> yeah. so um, having the CAD loader translating the software uh, the power into Modo is yeah. a big help for you. Then. Yeah, yeah, big, yeah, right. really, really big help. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I guess the instancing and the replicators are quite crucial, and you you have something yeah. that in CAD is it literally every nut and bolt in an entire yeah. machine. Yeah, you have to have a, a system in place. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, in a Modo you have a very fast uh, render preview of that, mm. so it sometimes it's even faster uh, to preview it, it there yeah. than <laughs> than to try so to yeah. see it in an OpenGL uh, right. viewport. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> all right then. So let's um, let's have a talk a bit about a bit more about your um, your company. So yeah, this is the yeah this yeah. is the public and the industrial design uh, right. department, and uh, yeah, they create a real yeah like train train station everything mm -hmm. on it or okay. uh, bus uh, yeah bus stops and uh, yeah all kind of real products. And, uh, and we have the URLs here if anybody wants to follow that up. Yeah. On, on okay. Yeah, and the other large uh, large largest part is the brand's design and interaction part, and they create uh, yeah, m many of the the uh, the, the museum uh, websites mm -hmm. like the the Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam and also the design museum in London by the way right yeah. okay yeah. that <laughs> was designed by the <laughs> yeah that, yeah, that oh was yeah but okay. yeah they made that yeah Brilliant. so yeah. all right good stuff <laughs> the new website yeah also uh, won an award yes <laughs> okay good good yeah good so really proud of them so that um so that then leads us on to uh the ocean cleanup project yeah so would you like to tell us a bit about yeah that's also yeah a result of of, of fabrik because uh, yeah the Jeroen van Erp, uh, one of the founders and creative director of of the uh, the, the branch design and interaction, mm -hmm. um, he's also he was busy with TEDx Delft, uh, organizing that one of the organizers right. and arranging the speakers. And one of the speakers was Bojan Slat. Uh, okay. uh, so this was back in uh, in 2012. Yeah. So uh, at that point, uh, he had only some sketches and. Uh, nothing nothing else so mm -hmm. yeah he had to to had material for the for his speech because that that's a that's a huge uh, huge arrangement mm -hmm. with large projection so right. you have to good good stuff yeah uh, so I, he was sent uh, to me by um, by Jeroen and uh, i immediately saw that uh, it's a really good idea yeah. and, uh, <laughs> and i and i uh, sat down with him uh, for three afternoons mm -hmm. uh, on in modo but right. just with just he had a plastic bag with a little wood with wires and that that, uh, that yeah. rep rep represented this thing okay so um, yeah that, that and then we started working uh, with the two of us okay and uh, after those afternoons we had uh, we had renders uh, al already and uh, right. these are the renders uh, yeah the 
bit like a futuristic like manta ray yeah, uh, yeah th that's why the stripes are always there okay it's, Brilliant. It, it's for ted so mm. it has to be a little so this <laughs> is shiny the result of, of you guys basically yeah. sketching out, out yeah. ideas in, in 3d in yeah okay. yeah directly in 3d mm. in modo yeah so what is the actual um concept of the ocean cleanup project yeah the the, the concept is a barrier to create okay. a barrier of uh, uh, not not too deep uh, and uh, that uh, that only collects the floating plastic Right. And yeah, and so uh, fishes can and swim and underneath it. Yeah, and not, uh, yeah, not go around over mm -hmm. the ocean with the ship, but stay in place, okay. fixed to the ocean floor, mm -hmm. and then this would be in the middle mm -hmm. and collects uh, on the sides via intakes, and it puts it in containers, and then a ship is coming every once in a while to take the out the, the plastic. plastic. Right. Okay. But this was th was the concept. So yeah, immediately afterwards, uh, many people started to. To yeah, to 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 see problems, of mm. course, and right. it was it was a very early concept. Okay. So, um, but after a half year, this this uh, these images and the video mm -hmm. and the very the very good video of of Boyan's speech went viral, right. and uh, all of a sudden the those images turned up on all websites mm. and envir right. environmental websites. So uh, no problem, <laughs> <laughs> and okay. uh, and then uh, then there was a, a, a first crowdfunding of okay. uh, eighty thousand dollar, and with that money. Uh, they they had uh, one year to create a feasibility report uh, to 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 yeah to to um, research to do research on all those problems okay. if it's feasible Fe or not yeah, yeah. Mm. right right now and that feasibility report was presented on last year uh, June third okay. so and I was involved in the new phase uh, of, of presenting that and making new visualizations of that right okay but also uh, for print for in the the, the report itself uh -huh. so uh, a3 uh, like uh, like fold outs mm. Mm. but also uh, yeah large the, the full hd material for tv stations right. right so this is phase one that we've got here and yeah, um, yeah. this was the concept and yeah the th yeah call it concept to yeah mm. concept to, yeah. to generate yeah. the interest yeah and then afterwards we go into phase two yeah and then um we start creating the the closer realization yeah. of the project mm. yeah yeah this is directly the uh, the result of the of the yeah. second uh, right. yeah the uh, encounter uh, you see that it's it, it looks now more like a real offshore construction mm. and uh, this it is made by UGS engineering okay um, the model is made in SolidWorks and I uh, yeah, I put it in and uh, created these visuals okay and uh, the C uh, has been updated um, more about that later. Yeah. Right, <laughs> and this is a modo renderer. This is uh, not yeah, a yeah, yeah. It's a photo yeah. The sky, the sky render. is a photo map, uh, yeah. but the rest is all rendered and all geometry. Yeah, okay. Cool. Even the plastic. Plastics. Yeah, all the plastic is is all uh, polygons. Yeah. Right. It's a lot of polygons. Uh, m yeah, 100 yeah. million or so. 100 yeah. million. Yeah, I yeah something wow. about that. Yeah, yes. maybe more. I don't know. Okay. I didn't count. <laughs> so the con <laughs> so the concept's still the same. Um, yeah, yeah, it's like yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. You basically yeah. have like a, a funnel. Yeah, 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 and it's not mm. and 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 the 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 installation is not connected to the, mm. uh, the actual booms, right? Because that yeah, that's, uh, that's also a point uh, yeah. of weakness. Yeah, in the yeah, so okay. yeah, and and there's a lot a lot of plastic, uh, yeah, there mm. that so you can you can also uh, take it out of the water uh, like 50 meters before mm. okay. because it will yeah it will uh, go around that place right, as yeah, well okay. yeah. so b basically what's happening is that the the barrier is kind of increasing the amount of plastic in that particular area yeah yeah because of so the currents yeah it okay, yeah, then. yeah yeah it, 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 it it's it's lying fixed and the ocean uh, yeah flows mm. uh, through it yeah and is this to be a manned rig or is no, it how does it work uh, yeah, the yeah. The yeah the solar panels drive the equipment and okay. uh, uh, that that large uh, yeah uh, ramp is uh, not only working a, yeah a couple of times uh, okay. not uh, not 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 24 hours a right. day but that and ramp uh, yeah. is basically what brings up the plastics yeah from no the no yeah the, yeah the the smaller particles up to a certain uh, are going uh, into the roasters that you see okay, at, uh, at, the, at the sea level. Okay. Yeah, yep. three okay. of the those, yep. in yep. Uh, and 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 those are uh, going into a spar that's like 44 meters okay. and uh, sticking like 30 meters into the water. Yep. Okay. It's all filled with uh, yeah with plastic. Right. right. And uh, and and yeah, every once in a while, uh, a ship comes and takes it away for recycling mm. and right. removing. So how, yeah. how much does this thing stick out of the ocean? Uh, I think about 15 meters or so. That's yeah. Quite right. So there's also uh, yeah some equipment uh, for radar mm. and for uh, yeah, for mm. that that ships can't see it of course mm. that they don't uh, 
yeah, go there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. here, here you see an actual shot low, and, and you see a lot of particles there. Yeah. Mm. And they all follow the yeah the, the water surface. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and also all under these particles are actually geometry. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah, all driven by the particle cloud. Mm. Yeah, that is that is driven by the the surface uh, generator oh of yeah. of the mesh of the displaced ocean. <laughs> okay, <laughs> exactly. Awesome. Yeah. So the the I mean, so this this imagery was originally for like the print um, the print part of yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah but you also yeah. had to yeah, but now we we go into the area already of the animation. Okay. Yeah, and uh, that that the last was even a frame of of one of the shots I made. Okay. So this is the this is the raw footage that was uh, delivered to the media and uh, yeah I've seen a lot of this on all on, on news programs talk mm. shows yep. in the Netherlands but supposedly also in other countries but uh, I didn't mm. I couldn't uh, follow yeah. that yeah, sure. in a m in in the United States as sure, well and sure. and of course this is also on the internet on the YouTube and I think that this these shots are also in the at the end of the long presentation video right. uh, and that video has over two million views or, uh, right, already. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So after this, um, after people started seeing this animation, was it was was there another stage of crowdfunding again, or what? Yeah, happened? yeah. Directly at uh, after after the presentation, mm. the crowdfunding started, and that yeah. that was for 100 days. And after 100 days, uh, especially the last days, uh, there yeah. was a lot of money because everybody wanted to to reach Make that goal. Yeah, yeah and that, and it was 2.2 2, uh, million uh, wow. over 2 million dollars. Wow. Okay. And, uh, and that uh, that's being yeah uh, diverted now into R&D uh, for making a real large scale pilot right. project. So Brilliant. how yeah. uh, how big is the entire? facility or the device if you will like had the, the uh, these uh, barriers yeah. how far do yeah, they extend uh, 50 kilometers to both sides so yeah 100 kilometers uh, it's a really large construction mm. and it's also made uh, uh, redundant so that if there's something wrong uh, then you can fix it there uh, there's so uh, like a the mooring oh yeah okay, the mooring is uh, it's, it's not yeah. like that wha if one cable breaks that the whole thing is floating mm. over the ocean right. but contributing it's contributing to the plastic yeah, <laughs> yeah don't <laughs> yeah, want to yeah, do that yeah <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Got yeah. You. So and there's uh, the you say it was USG that engineering that provided the CAD model for that. Yeah, yeah, well, they yeah, made so they made the design of the yeah. yeah of all the equipment on on top of the spar mm. and the spar itself is right. a is like a recycled uh, out of the oil industry. Okay, yeah. Yeah. right there you go. Good. Yeah, and that's uh, yeah that's also yeah tho those things you can buy. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and you USG engineering uh, that's yeah. that's also also provide the lead engineer uh, working on the ocean cleanup uh, it's, uh, at the foundation helping itself. Helping out with the feasibility. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, he was. Right. Yeah, he was working there full time. Right. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. All right. So let's um, go into some of the actual um, the the modo techniques that were used yeah. to create that imagery. Yeah. Um, so let's, let's give, kick that off. Talk us through this. Yeah. Now, as you see, uh, the yeah, it w uh, from a modo viewpoint, it was a mm. pretty simple project because mm. I I got a, a completely mod uh, modeled uh right the thing. geometry. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I, yeah, yeah. I I imported it in uh, SolidWorks Kit and CAD Loader. Okay. SolidWorks Kit because there was already already some uh, some uh, good uh, material on it. Okay. Uh, they they also uh, yeah, made made good materials in modo yeah. in SolidWorks and then you get also in modo. Okay. Uh, so but some parts I I took in via CAD Loader because. I had more control because when you load from SolidWorks, yeah. then the tr you get triangles okay. that are made in SolidWorks. Right. So you, you don't have any control over the crudeness. Yeah, right, right. Uh, so you can't control yeah. the tessellation. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, now the, the other parts I already modeled and modified uh, for the first phase. Mm. So and and but I had to change it ob obviously. Okay. And there were new uh, buoys and there were new mooring. Mm. Okay. So. Um, that yeah you see al also uh, the particles there right and you and there's a yeah large and medium and small okay and and they those are all uh, from the same uh, particle source but with different percentages in render uh, okay. percentage so you're putting the large ones here and there on yeah, every yeah, every yeah, 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 yeah. Every and so many particles. Yeah. there's a big one. And yeah, yeah, and that's based on, uh, yeah, uh, on actual, uh, mm. yeah, estim estimates. Mm. Uh, this is uh, how the water is driven. Okay. So that there's a mesh uh, that's that's being uh, displaced at, at in the same way, mm -hmm. as and and the it's it's the weight map is is denser towards the booms. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there's also a locator that. Uh, 
that makes the density less towards the, the, the ends. Right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. basically right. creating this yeah, so like yeah, localized yeah. high yeah. density yeah. plastic. Yeah, then, then, okay. then you see the one of the earlier images. Yeah, right. So and when I uh, when I uh, put somewhere for a low shot, yep. uh, we could go even further by putting extra points mm. uh, uh, that. Uh, are driven uh, via the se via the, uh, the the surface particle and uh, an effector. We would go so go you to can that. creatively yeah. add more. Yeah, when add, you need add more yeah. where you need it because yeah. you don't want that density over the whole exactly. ocean yeah. or There's over no the whole. Need, right. yeah. yeah, but I'm, I'm guessing for a project like this, the, the basically you couldn't have done it without replicators, which is no, uh, no, not at all. Because yeah. what yeah. you have, ev yeah. every single piece of plastic is is a piece of geometry actually floating in yeah. the ocean. Yeah. So yeah. Basically, this point ins point instancing system is yeah, that's is a pretty yeah, yeah, and and it's part of and it. and you can control it uh, for from shot to shot. That's mm. also important. Right. But with a texture, you have to create uh, yeah texturing all the way. Mm. Yeah, you just just also also underwater the whole uh, intricate uh, mm. Uh, mm. mooring pattern with all the cables. And yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So the concept of replicators um, means that you get a rep you don't have to like create the geometry itself. It's just a bounding box of a uh, representation of what the geo should be. Yeah, the, yeah. the small plastic was even like triangles and uh, right. little quads and uh, ranging from two millimeters to like uh, ten millimeters. Okay. And okay. then the larger parts are plastic uh, bottles, yeah. uh, models, and crates yeah. and buoys right, like yeah. Right, okay. yeah 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 and right. uh, yeah in reality you also have like uh, lots of uh, cables cut off cables from fishing nets ah. and that, that and that yeah, creates even shapes. yeah different yeah. islands of okay. garbage so collected yeah. Kind of, uh, yeah yeah that yeah that was not modeled that's that's yeah, yeah. that's so <laughs> that's very difficult yeah <laughs> in well, all that scale yeah. i'm guessing you had a conversation about that yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. sure <laughs> we do that or not no okay yeah do you want to make the deadline yeah fair enough Okay, so um, explain to us a bit about what's going on here then. Yeah, this is uh, uh, driving. Uh, this is driving the large uh, particles. Okay. The, yeah, the, the particles for the large plastic. Okay. And it's basically uh, a giant radial fall-off. That's yeah. That that is the whole world. Yeah. Uh, so it contains all the the points, mm -hmm. and uh, the 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 trend the transform uh, is driving the it of through the item. Uh, it's driving a group with different uh, things in it so there there are spheres and and bottles and, and crates okay. and, and those and those are um, being moved uh, in only in the y in the y axis okay uh, but the exact same displacement ah. textures in the effects right. as as the water itself is displaced so, right. so that's how it follows them so at any point the water surface is displayed up uh, is yeah, displaced yeah. up or down yeah and the points that you're then putting uh, plastic junk on is also moved up or down yeah, by the same amount exactly by yeah, the same yeah, textures. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So you just have to move your yeah your bottle to the right uh, uh, to the right place and then it they, they all will right. follow it the will water everywhere. Right, yeah. yeah. So that's uh, yeah that's that works really well. Mm. So yeah. it's pretty inexpensive technique to kind yeah. of use mm. and cheap yeah. get yeah, and look. Yeah and, and apart on the uh, you can also uh, vary the, 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 the angles of the bottle. So mm. right, okay. there's, like a, there's a there's a range of uh, yeah th there's a range uh, how they Float, and, I yeah. and I guess in this case, what you're uh, by by putting a bunch of different things into a group, and yeah. then replicating the group, it takes random stuff from the group and just yeah. distributes yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I must say the the the, the Walter uh, Andre McGrill had a tutorial uh, uh, online, and you can also download it with the okay. dragon in the water. Mm -hmm. And uh, I learned the 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 the, the, the textures, the procedurals, mm. like cellular and waves and and some noise and also very important the texture offset that 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 right. that, that, that breaks the the, the, the large the lines mm. right, yeah okay. yeah and uh, so I owe him a lot because yeah. uh, I already had C's in earlier projects but mm. this one is definitely better and mm. because uh, yeah, most of the news programs also had to show animation in the top corner sure. but was and and Just still and still <laughs> even now uh, people yeah. th uh, ask me where it is mm. <laughs> the, the whole right. array yeah so what do you Brilliant. mean feasibility study yeah yeah, yeah, yeah why yeah, yeah, yeah. it's already done <laughs> 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 do you need money? It's already there. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, so uh, the the water surface itself is just it's just a few procedurals that you've layered up. There's yeah, no simulation yeah. of any kind. No, no there. simulation. 
at all, but yeah, that's it's yeah, that's most of the time uh, when it looks right, mm. yeah, yeah. It, it is good. It is yeah, 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 there you go. And uh, yeah, if you try to simulate something like that, yeah, yeah. it's I think for such a large area, yeah, especially the yeah, discharge, yeah, 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 you can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, maybe in uh, yeah, maybe in twenty years or yeah. so, <laughs> but not and now. One of the scenes you were looking at it from kind of a helicopter point of view, and you could see miles and yeah, miles. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, and the hel helicopter shots also yeah, are the most realistic because the yeah, because the waves are uh, going mm. uh, in the right uh, speed. So I, yeah. I it took me a lot of time to yeah to get that speed and mm. get that and that get the scale right. Okay. Because the the tutorials uh, was that was on a very small scale. Mm. It was like uh, yeah. so I had to yeah to, to rescale that to ocean level yeah. and yeah. to reality level to get this kind of undulating yeah. ocean wave yeah. feel. Do yeah. You, do you find like your uh, engineering background kind of helps solve some of these problems a lot easier? Mm. Do you, or is it yeah, a bit trial and error? Or to understand it, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because yeah, when yeah, when you when you learn uh, about uh, yeah. Uh, ma yeah, mathematics. Mm, uh, then, yeah. yeah, then you get also the concept. Uh, the, the basis of, mm. of this software is is, is yeah. all, all the formulas. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and but yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, and good. I guess also yeah. the whole. Uh, I mean, uh, when you're studying engineering, you learn about problem solving, basically. Oh yeah. 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 yeah and you and you like to to do the to do the <laughs> problem solving. And yeah. That's yeah. Uh, yeah, also uh, a feature. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so with this project, um, you also uh, used a bit of Nuke as well, right? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, I just acquired that, and okay. uh, and uh, yeah, it 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 helped me straight away. It, yeah. it was not uh, for my project. It was was not hard at all. Okay. And I used it also for uh, because you have a node editor, you can put anything on it, and right. and, and yeah, th it works very. Uh, yeah, natural. Okay. To, uh, because you, you uh, when you want to see something, you yeah, you drag. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you see it, and you can uh, do uh, A B uh, sw comparisons, uh, sw comparisons yeah, yeah, yeah. easily. But uh, yeah, and there was also uh, a tone mapper. Yeah. Uh, as you see, and that was uh, made by Simon, and it was it came just work. in the right time because <laughs> you see here what what it does. I can control the sky after rendering right. without without uh, doing much damage to the water, water right. and 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 keep contra contrast and yeah. and per shot i could tweak it yeah so uh, because when you are looking towards the sun uh, and back that you get another another ocean yeah but yeah you want to have it all similar when you are right. going through the shots so it'll just like a real camera does so yeah. simon would you like to tell us a little bit about this gizmo and um the sure the yeah importance uh, of it? Basically, just like Evan, I yeah. I basically just I'd started using Nuke quite mm -hmm. recently, and I wanted. Um, uh, I often approach software from kind of a kind of a techie <laughs> point yeah. of view, so I wanted <laughs> sure. a fun R and D project basically. Right. Uh, and I saw a presentation on uh, a video game where they're using um, something called filmic tone mapping, okay. um, and it's not it um, it's 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 basically just a. It's it's just a grading system yeah, really sure. uh, that's based around looking like analog film, right? Um, but it gives you some control over uh, highlights and shadow areas and and basically so you can transition nice from dark to bright, off. and you get you get really nice roll offs in the yeah. highlight and uh -huh. you uh, yeah uh, tone uh, shoulder yeah. perfect yeah. for this sort of work exactly yeah. uh, because with a lot of the existing tone mappers, I found that um, if I want to control the highlights well, then I lose contrast yeah, and the image sure. becomes a bit washed out yeah. and. Some tone mappers oversaturate bright colors and, uh -huh. and various other issues. Yeah, uh, I really liked what I saw in the presentation, so I, I implemented the same. Yeah, the same thing in Nuke because they they published the algorithm. The the, the maths behind it, and the beautiful thing is that is working in that way, you get a lot of um, uh, beauty in the look for free. Yeah, just yeah. by the maths work. Yeah, yeah I mean being the, the main reason yeah. I like did it was because I wanted to automate some of my image yeah. workflows a bit more. I right. just not have to do as much grading basically yeah. i could just render something and bring it into nuke as an open yeah. xr file yeah. apply the uh apply the tone mapper play around with the settings until i like yeah. it and yeah. then i'm almost done right yeah. and Good. you can even animate your grading and tone mapping yes yep. yeah, exactly. that's also important mm. when you have a shot yeah. going around uh, the spark right. yeah, 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 yeah then, yeah, then control yeah, uh, white yeah. balance and exposure yeah. and stuff like that yeah, I, d yeah well. I didn't even need it on that shot because mm. uh, it, yeah it's in the wide open mm. so uh, yeah, there's a lot Balanced of light everywhere yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, another thing was what what was very uh, good for me is mm -hmm. uh, at the end uh, 
that that you see uh, when the frames are coming in, in from the render farm. Yep. Then you can uh, work on the shot already and right. reload and yeah, and done. <laughs> so you was able to um, you was able to uh, preview or at least yeah. see the test the, the first fifty renders of each yeah, shot before yeah 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 or yeah or every other twenty five okay. and then and then you have an idea or yeah. if the shot mm. shot is going well and 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 sometimes I I said okay stop the render eh, don't uh, don't do the actual right. per don't frame finish. render mm -hmm. right, right. and then yeah that uh, that's also uh, yeah saving a lot of right. money mm. and and good, time good. Yeah. yeah so you're using an external render farm for this I presume yeah 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 in uh, in Korea it was located mm. and uh, yeah, it was very close to me in Singapore and Brilliant. the operators were in Poland and Bojan was in New York <laughs> collecting <laughs> the results. It's a very global project. Yeah, it's very yeah. Yeah, bless you, isn't it? Really yeah. Yeah. yeah, good, good. All right. And I mean, how did you find uh, just Nuke in general? Like as the first in uh, yeah, it the yeah, adopting it worked it. great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it it yeah, it it's fitted it's fitted it right. Yeah, no, no, not, not yeah. Th th there's a lot of stuff, but mm. if you if you need something, mm. you can find it yeah. very easily. Uh, the nodes are very easily logical, accessible yeah. and logical, and yeah, if and it's a nodal workflow, so it's very easy to see what you are doing right. and what you are seeing. So yeah. yeah, yeah, that's good. You don't get lost in the not at all. No. That's it. Okay, so um, what's uh, what's 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 happening next? For yeah, yeah, this yourself. is pretty recent. This yeah. this news mm -hmm. uh, last week or so, and uh, this is uh, uh, an image uh, for an uh, ocean sail race that's it's gonna happen from LA to Hawaii, and okay. and after the race, uh, a lot of contenders are going to go back. Uh, uh, across uh, predefined uh, latitudes, okay, and uh, they are going to scan a large part of the Pacific f between Hawaii and California. Okay, so uh, yeah, we have also an uh, an animation, animation of that, of that? Yeah. Okay. and uh, right. that's that. yeah, that's the first time that's that on that scale uh, the ocean is going to be scanned for plastic uh, where it is at the same time. Right, so so, so it's pretty huge, yeah. Ocean. Yeah, it's like two thousand by two thousand kilometers. Wow! So and yeah. how many ships? Fifty, yeah. Okay. And they and every every third degree they right. gonna, gonna go. Uh, yeah. Okay. And so is, is that to check exactly how much plastics in the in the ocean? Or yeah, yeah. It's the first time that 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 you have a, a good overview of mm. at the same time okay. uh, where the plastic is. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, okay. and it's really necessary because the uh, the reports of uh, ocean sailors that have been on the sea many years mm -hmm. they they tell that they never saw that many floating uh, right. everywhere in straits and on the open ocean but especially at coasts and okay. straits between large mm. and, and yeah. i'm guessing that figuring out exactly where yeah, the plastic yeah. is and how it's moving is crucial when you want to put up these great big barriers indeed yeah right. if you put out something that's 100 kilometers long you don't want to put it in the wrong part of the ocean yeah, yeah. exactly right so yeah, yeah it's good, good stuff yeah <laughs> that's uh, yeah it's very interesting yeah, yeah. So I mean, uh, where's where are where are we with the uh, the actual projects at the moment? I mean, uh, how long before it actually gets completed and is uh well, yeah, it's it's now really in movement and there yeah. yes, there's gonna be news and uh, yeah. yeah, so it's it's really good and, uh, and the reaction uh, from mm. uh, governments and and sure. all that mm. there there's a lot going on now. I don't right. know. Uh, I'm I'm making the images, but I, yeah. I don't know sure. the the specifics, <laughs> but. No. Yeah, I, I expect that uh, that, uh, that that we now have uh, yeah. yeah that that it's gonna yeah, be there. So yeah, yeah. No, it's good. And that that was the intention of making those images exactly. in 2012. Yeah. Mm. So no, it's, it sounds really exciting, and uh, it's definitely something that I think we all need to get behind and help look after mm. yeah. our planet. <laughs> you know, I think uh, yeah. it's a it's a great idea, and the boy and definitely has done a great job in for sure getting yeah. a, getting, yeah. getting the project off the ground. Mm. Yeah. Um, I mean, is there anything else that you'd like to uh, talk about in uh, on a personal level in terms of what your plans are going to be going forwards with the project? Or yeah, the next the next step is uh, is making a VR version, and if it's possible to do that, uh, okay. with Oculus Rift and uh, from Modo to Unity, and then yeah. look around that you are standing on top of it on the ocean, right? That and that cool. he can take uh, on his many trips. Uh, 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 yeah. He has he, he now has an Oculus Rift, so right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, we have to make a model that he can okay. mm. can show to Good. people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that'd be that'd be really cool. Yeah. And I definitely recommend everybody uh, try and go onto the web uh, TED Talks and have a look at the, uh, yeah. the presentation. if you didn't see. Yet yeah. you shoot, yeah. Definitely <laughs> mo more in depth. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for. Uh, okay. Giving <laughs> us a. a yeah. d <laughs> Thanks a for uh, giving me the opportunity. No, not at all. It's <laughs> a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. So round of applause for Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I am. Um, wow. I, 
I, I, I mean, we, we've just been piling in loads of questions because right. <laughs> <Right. laughs> we've got lots of questions Good. ourselves. Um, it's just, uh, it's just so amazing. And like we were talking um, just before we went on air about um, the. Um, for me, it's actually quite a lovely thing that this has come full circle because I'd been um, at an award ceremony in 2007 where um, Lord Putnam spoke and he said, you know, it's so important as um, technical people and visual storytellers and, you know, that we've got this m amazing medium that we've got such a responsibility now to educate um, people about what's going on with the environment and how we can help make this work better together and and seeing this is just and seeing other projects like that have been coming out it's just it's so it's so amazing and the visuals uh, I mean I, I I when I first saw um, the videos like the water and people like there's a been comments about the water yeah. you know it just like that thing's already out in the ocean yeah. That's really yeah. real. Yeah. Like that's <laughs> that's amazing. But anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump into s some of these questions because they're, they're so. Um, this is for Irwin. So, how long did the project take from visualization to the end? So, you were working with um, Boyan on his sketches. Yeah. How quickly did you have to turn those around? That yeah, that was three afternoons uh, because three yeah, bec yeah. afternoons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after my yeah uh, my job that I did that for that day, <laughs> he <laughs> came in and okay now now we go further yeah because it was yeah. interfering with another job. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, but uh, he liked it as well. So and 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 that that uh, talk that was like yeah the next week. So at a certain That's point he had to rehearse unreal. and yeah and wow. the, the images had to be there already. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a pretty fast, f and uh, the the later phase, uh, the all the animations took uh, like a month or so uh, yeah. from beginning to end. But still, yeah, I yeah. mean, and and uh, and were you completely? Was your time completely on that project? So I I did ask you, but was it were you completely focused? Your time was blocked on that project, or were yeah. you working yeah. on other projects within? Uh, that? Well, there's always there's <laughs> always <laughs> work to be done. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, d d I, I think I rendered some other things during that time uh, in in between because at a certain point you are. Uh, yeah, rendering and uh, only editing, and then right. you can then you can work. Uh, Do the other things other while thing. that's yeah, going yeah. on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's how it works. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh yes. Don't we all yeah. know? Um, so um, there's a question that's coming from Twitter. I'm a recent industrial design grad and Modo enthusiast. Are there any ways folks like me can help or get involved in wow. this project? Oh. And I'm going to touch on that as the next question. But wow. this, how? Yeah. How can this guy, g guy or girl, I don't know, yeah. it's Twittersville. So they're a recent graduate, how can they get involved? I think that there are even are uh, on the website uh, positions yeah, uh, yeah, to, be, to be filled. Uh, so you can apply or uh, at least ask Boyan mm -hmm. or and his team. So this is on the Ocean Cleanup website, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. dot, There's is it dot jobs org? Or dot, org? Yeah. Uh, dot com. Dot com. Yeah. Right. The ocean cleanup yeah, dot com. Dot com. So you can go there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, okay. So um, how did you feel um, when you saw the response that was coming out of the work that you'd created? Yeah, that was great. Yeah. That must have been yeah. absolutely yeah. Yeah. mind blowing. Yeah, and the 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 first time uh, it was un unexpected because uh, for me that speech on TEDx that right. that was it. But yeah. uh, when the video went viral, that mm. was uh, totally unexpected yeah. by everybody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the second time it was more expected because uh, we tried to go for that effect that yeah. people thought it was already there. Yeah, right. uh, Because of the heli shots. And I the know. Yeah. yeah. And those, yeah, I saw them on that very day uh, everywhere in the Dutch news and the talk shows and uh, mm -hmm. they, oh uh, they were on the embargo. At so at the time he was speaking in New York, there it was already on the news in Holland. Yeah. Because yeah. Those, those were pre-recorded the week before. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so the response was also from the media very good and, and afterwards, yeah, even more because then the crowdfunding began. And I know, uh, right. And it was everywhere. Yeah. yeah. And how long, uh, sorry, I think you might touch on it. How long did it take for that 2.2 million to come in? Uh, 100 days, yeah. I mean, that's yeah, just And I think insane, it was like, like 1.6 uh, 
three days before, and then y there was a, a, a like a wave uh, right. of people. Oh, oh, yeah. I, I should give something. Yeah. I forgot, yeah. and then yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that went very wow. fast over it. Then yeah, yeah, because I mean, uh, and 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 this is the thing, like the whole, because we were talking about this idea of like um like people power. People power. People yeah, power. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like it yeah. is, it really is like that yeah, whole yeah. thing of like you know anything is possible yeah. now. It's anything thirty eight, yeah, thirty eight thousand people that mm. contributed. Yeah, to and yeah. like, yeah. Wow. but but also like. The Modo community was so important for you, and Simon. Yeah, this is you know, so that's how yeah. Simon <laughs> Simon got involved in this. You know, and there's yeah. various other friends that we, you know, that <laughs> got involved, mm. and it's like, I mean, how how did that happen? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. we've known each other for a while. Yeah, yeah, um, for quite a long via, time. Via the Modo, uh, actually, via the Lightwave community yeah, originally, yeah, yeah, uh, but yeah. via the Modo community Cray, as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> must be mentioned. Um, <laughs> Great, and. Uh, uh, well, you just wrote to me on Skype, yeah. asking about yeah. asking yeah. something about replicators and like yeah. Does anybody know uh, I've got a problem and mm. then yeah. yeah, or is there a better way? I, I thought of this and uh, is a uh, is there a better way because I wanted to be faster. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody wants that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah of so course. yeah, and then uh, yeah, then especially if you're having to turn something in yeah. <laughs> three nights. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was uh, yeah, that was later. Yeah, 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 yeah The yeah. first yeah, the first one uh, that that was painted. That was okay, uh, yeah, right. so <laughs> particle <laughs> painting <laughs> and yeah, right. I yeah, could yeah. plastic uh, put mm. anywhere, but that was not animation. So it right. doesn't have to move then. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And then more pe more people got involved in the water thing, and someone yeah. actually did yeah. comment. They know exactly um, where the water came yeah, from, yeah. and it's they well love that water yeah. simulation yeah, yeah, yeah. too on Twitter. Yeah. They're like, I absolutely yeah. love yeah. that too. Yeah. I was looking for water, and then uh, that thread was like one week old, and so it was Good just the right. Destiny, yeah. right? Yeah. Destiny. Yeah. It's like stars aligning. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, um, but it's that whole thing of like you know, it is. It's just extraordinary the fact that these, the boats, like the racing boats, are going out, and they're gonna measure as well like yeah, all these yeah, like yeah, you know yeah yeah they are all also involved it gives yeah. me goosebumps yeah. <laughs> honestly <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a bit of a yeah, yeah. it really gives me goosebumps yeah. that yeah. you know like so this is possible this mm. is yeah. possible people yeah no it's <laughs> happening <laughs> it's happening <laughs> yeah oh, it's a good start definitely. it's amazing I mean, oh my god it's unreal need more projects like this I think yeah so yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and i mean they're, they're yeah. they are they're popping yeah. up everywhere i mean so Someone on Twitter's got a question. Um, did everything go as planned, or were there some serious workarounds needed? No, not really. No. No. Yeah. The, the only thing uh, at the at the end, I tried to to make workarounds for not driving all the plastic uh, in certain shots, uh, and but at, uh, and and to 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 freeze some uh, particle okay. generators because then it would react uh, a lot f a lot more fast mm -hmm. right. but and and when i know where the cameras were i could also yeah delete uh, behind mm -hmm. behind the camera that mm -hmm. it do doesn't have to take in account right, uh, okay. all those extra geometry yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so just to make it more responsive right. because it's yeah it's uh, it's uh, it's really is a huge amount of particles yeah, yeah. i'm yeah. guessing you have millions of particles yeah it was yeah the, the basis is 1 million mm. uh, and and it's it's being by the weight it's driven by the weight map and uh, the the distance to locator so yeah, in the end you get an, a different number then mm. uh, but distribution but uh, yeah, then uh, then it 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 got like multiplied times hundred. So every point uh, is is hundred wow. uh, items so around that point, uh, like a poison disc uh, distribution yeah, or right something. Right, right, right. Mm. So yeah, in the end you render like uh, one yeah one hundred million. Wow, yeah. Jesus! Oh my Geometry. God! Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's intense. That <laughs> is that is seriously yeah. seriously <laughs> intense. So, um. I'm guessing. I mean, what version of m what version of Modo were you using on um, this? Eight hundred one at that time. And what yeah. was th was there was there like a a go to tool? I mean, the replicators. Yeah, and that yeah, the replicators yeah, I mean are in there for like uh, since like four hundred one. Right. That yeah. yeah. Mm. That and uh, the the replicators also made that those fences of that SolidWorks thing. Right. Yeah. And that's also worth mentioning because at that time it was also like one hundred and. 100 million polygons wow, at really? render time oh because the fences were, uh, yeah, they had the fences were actually, yeah, modeled. actually modeled wow. as a cat item. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so that was the only way to look at it, yeah. just like in reality. Okay. That, yeah. that it's I'm transparent I'm like this and that it's closed yeah. like this. I'm guessing if the client wants you to do renders of their fences, you can't just say, oh, I just put a texture on it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a grid texture. Yeah, yeah. Li 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 yeah. Like we did uh, 25 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then it's totally. 
looks like mm. not not looks like like yeah. the actual object. So yeah, yeah. And that was already there. So I had even pictures of how that works mm. in reality. Wow! Wow! Yeah. And it, it must be such a big time saver to j be able to just load it straight in and start working yeah. without having yeah. to. Yeah. I remember when I started doing uh, architectural yeah. visualization uh, uh, yeah. eight nine years ago. I would spend half my time just trying to, you know, squeeze the image maps down to a right. low yeah. resolution and mm. cut up polygons yeah. I didn't need and yeah. Yeah. everything it took to get it rendering on machines yeah. with mm. just a gigabyte of memory. And yeah, and most of my projects back then were 90% uh, modeling until there was, was no time anymore because you had to render. Mm. Mm. And that, yeah. was the that was the point that you started rendering. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. right. Now it's, uh, yeah, vice versa. Now you just yeah. throw everything in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. 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 And it works. And it just right. works, yeah. yeah. Good. So actually, someone has asked, how much computer power did you need to handle that the files? Uh, well, yeah, it, uh, my workstation is uh, uh, six core i7 with a GTX. It was like 680 then. Wow. Uh, it's really so good. Yeah, it's a yeah. Pretty standard, normal, yeah. a pretty standard PC yeah. that handled that. And uh, the rendering went to the render farm, and they also mm. had yeah, like uh, pretty standard uh, Xeon, mm. uh, Xeon machines. Mm. So it was yeah, definitely doable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. Um, so Courtney actually answered one of my questions about Nuke. Like, are you actually what using it more? No, right. Like, about how, how you found it, like, in the beginning. Like, what had you come from before we were using another software? And mm -hmm. then started using you know, like how did you find it? Were you like jumping into Moto it? itself? No, new. Nuke. Oh, nuke. So oh, like um, infinite fun yeah, no, yeah, because of the merger uh, and then uh, looking at it and <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, and then yeah, then uh, yeah. Th 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 normally, I would take the PNGs into like uh, After Effects or maybe even in uh, in Vegas, uh, th that sort okay. of software. Right. Yeah, and then yeah, then you have only s some editing control, but not mm. Uh, mm. not not with EXR and uh, mm. real time feedback. You don't have all the advanced control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it. so it yeah, it was time to yeah to look for that and Good. and yeah, it, it it basically helped me also. Uh, yeah. Uh, really. Yeah. By the Did you uh, find it quite easy to use, or were you yeah. a little bit spooked? About no, no, no. Right. It's uh, no, it's uh, it's not. Yeah, th you can do very complex things with it, but right. you can also do simple things with right. it. Yeah. 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 No problem. Awesome. Um, okay. So the replicators saved you a ton of time, um, yeah. which is like we, we were just like. So Oculus Rift, have you done anything like, or is this th is this like, this is like the next step that you want to go yeah, on? Yeah, like it has it has been there mm. for like thirty years. Uh, <laughs> that 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 the, the promise of that there would be glasses that could do that right. and. Yeah, and, and I what was the Nintendo Leia one called? Uh, yeah, the the and yeah. Boy. I've seen, yes. I've seen a lot of yeah, those. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah and uh, but yeah, this basically works. Right. Uh, yeah. it, it's not, it's not, uh, yeah, the reality. <laughs> it's yeah. uh, but it, it works uh, that you look around very mm. fast. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, my my sons play with it, uh, uh, driving games myself as yeah. well. Yeah. And uh, and it, it it feels just like that you are in a car or it's in a plane. It mm. it works right. best that you are in something. Right. Because when you are yeah, bodiless in the space. It's it yeah. gets uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, no, it's, yeah. Hor it's, ho it's horrible. Yeah. It yeah. is yeah. actually. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. I, I <laughs> my first experience of it was uh, last year at Seagraph being put yeah. like put yeah. one on and yeah. it's just like whoa, like mm. just had the most yeah. coming out of it was like <laughs> I was just like oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. just yeah. don't look real. This all feels really <laughs> weird yeah. and yeah. horrible. Yeah. But yeah. it's ace. I mean, it's yeah. incredible. Yeah. The first time I tried not to like almost fell over because I started walking. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, walking that's yeah. 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 Walked into a table. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but when you're, in, for example, in a car simulator, yeah. you can uh, w drive for 45 minutes really or an hour. No, no problem no because yeah. Yeah. That's, that's your reference and you, yeah, you're starting to believe that mm. you are sitting in a car and yeah. then when the world uh, is going fast, mm. y it, it's it not related normal. to you. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I suppose with, I mean, with this project, it's just gonna, it's gonna give so much more weight and depth. Yeah. With that yeah. as yeah, well. Yeah. I mean, yeah. uh, in the middle of what yeah. you've created. Yeah, in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. Right. But what you've created with that, I mean, uh, I want you to do this because I, <laughs> I, I want to <laughs> be inside the rift and see that. I want to yeah. see yeah. what yeah. you're going to do. Yeah, yeah. I really, really do. <laughs> yeah. And it kind of like, because I mean, I mean, my question was like, you know, like, like how long is this going to take? Like, I mean, w what what's what is the next phase yeah. after the ships have come back and given their reason? I mean, how long is this project? 
Is there an ETI on it at all? Um, there, yeah. The I think the report tells something about that. Yeah, that's that's not. It's yeah, maybe I we should look in look at that. Yeah, look at the yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it, it 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 can go faster when uh, when there there are more resources. Right. So yeah. So yeah. yeah, I don't yeah. know exactly what the plan right. exactly yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, obviously your time is now completely on on this project. Is there is there like another environmental project that you're like, <gasps> what what's next that I I I want to get behind and. No, not not not, yeah, there's not not yeah. I Let's just do one thing at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> quite well invested yeah. in. This yeah, and mostly, yeah, most of yeah. my work is now done. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've yeah, also other clients apart and other other. Yeah, mm. apart from yeah, the yeah, 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 apart <laughs> uh, now no, that, that's <laughs> what I want to see uh, as yeah. well. So <laughs> that's still uh, working on that. Yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah it, it the problem is the plastic, of course, because mm. yeah, mm. Th to make that real time, I have to uh, use other tricks. And I right, okay. The water is doable, but yeah, you can't put replicators into Oculus. No, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, the, the real-time software is uh, yeah is is working differently. So mm -hmm. you you can't do that stuff. Uh, okay. Uh, the same. I'm sure yeah. someone will work that out though. There's I hope so. And we need more screens with 8K or 16K that you put in mm. those things that you can actually see that plastic floating right. because it's now oh. it's now a little fuzzy in the background. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So there's more small Twitter questions. Um, have you done any larger scale simulations with real ocean current data to get an idea of what this I of what this do what this IRL in real life? Yeah, 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 sorry, I'm really rubbish with Twitter. <laughs> 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 it's not down with the kids. Yeah. <laughs> I've not done <laughs> simulations, but I know that uh, that that people have done simulations to simulate the the booms yeah. movements mm. and mm -hmm. how the how the how the plastic and plankton uh, mm. react to yeah. that and uh, how the currents close to the booms are I'm guessing to the screens. I'm guessing that was part of the feasibility. Yeah, uh, yeah, study, yeah, right? yeah, 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 for yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. But uh, because that was one of the yeah the major problems. Uh, when, uh, do you f do you also keep the 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 little organisms at the surface right. out, right. Yeah. 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 But, do but, do but those plankton. go with the current underneath. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Because yeah. plankton weigh as much as the water yeah, around, yeah, but yeah, plastic yeah. is lighter. Yeah, yeah. So the water oh, okay. goes down with the organisms, uh, and the plastic right. uh, floats to the top. Mm. Yeah. yeah, leaves the current. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Um, did you use Modo in only one OS, or did you use the different versions in your pipeline? Oh. Was you using um, Modo in one OS, or was did you use multiple? Um, like, did you use different Version. stations, like workstations? That wasn't. No. Uh, was what's the main uh, station that you? Uh, I I, I you use a, a Windows Seven. Yeah. Uh, yeah computer. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just a reg yeah regular PC. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow! Are you planning on setting up some oceanic live cams? on the final product so we can all watch the trash piling <laughs> in. That would be a cool idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. That Amazing. sounds like a good yeah. idea. One extra solar panel and, uh, and yeah, we can exactly. drive the camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would be incredible. And, yeah. and the thing is as well is like, and correct me, I, I could probably got this wrong, so you can correct me, like the pa the plastic can actually then, it's going to make money, it will eventually make money because that will yeah, be recycled. Yeah, 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 yeah it, it will uh, divert the cost a little bit uh, because you can recycle it and it, uh, yeah, make it into oil. Uh, there, there are mm. ex I don't know, I don't know if, th if that happens a lot already because y you could al already do that with, with other uh, plastic on mm. that you have on land. I don't know the specific. Specif it, it it is feasible, I think. <laughs> also yep. feasible. Yeah. 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 And, uh, yeah. and well yeah. The feasibility yeah. study, the book yeah. cover is actually made from the plastic. Yeah. 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 Found, yeah. Right? yeah. The yeah, most yeah. important yeah. thing is that it gets out of the water yeah. bef wha before it dis it disintegrates and sinks in yeah. into yeah. the sea, yeah. because then it's gone. Yeah. And then and it already it, it starts that you don't put it into the water uh, mm -hmm. or that it yep. do doesn't uh, uh, yeah. but even if go we stop into putting plas more yeah, plastics in we still but have yeah, yeah. we still pile. have yeah. this huge yeah, amount, huge of amount is there already yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and 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 more uh, than was predicted beforehand. Mm. So that yeah. so that also the eyewitnesses, uh, the ocean sailors and the fishermen, and they see more yeah. plastic than ever before. Right, yeah. right. I mean, there was there was one thing just of the cargo containers, the six cargo containers, that the amount of plastic that came out of that that they broken. Yeah, mm. yeah, but yeah, I think the actual the actual packaging is <laughs> even more. Eh, the yeah, all the plastic sure. bags and all the oh yeah, all the little I mean like the little so stuff. Much yeah. stuff. Even those so little, uh, those so little, uh, yeah. the holders yeah, and the yeah, 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 everything, yeah, 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 
the stickers. Yeah. yeah. The toothpaste caps. tube caps. Just yeah. everything. Bottle, yeah, bottle yeah. caps. Yeah. 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 So, Simon, are you gonna, are you going to do any more work <sighs> in there? <laughs> yeah. I'd uh, maybe. Yeah. maybe I'd love yeah. to be involved but <laughs> yeah no. um, when I need him I, I can find him exactly, exactly. <laughs> you know where he is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no that's absolutely I mean it's just it's a, it's it's such a cool it's such a cool thing and mm. and the fact that like everything's like you know people getting behind it and it growing and growing and the means like hundred over hundred engineers and designers yeah, 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 working yeah, on this yeah. and yeah and also uh, people from other uh, companies and uh, mm. yeah so yeah and yeah. I mean boy and just that he's so tenacious he seems very sort of tenacious but you know like just really a really awesome guy <laughs> yeah he yeah. is and how, like how old is he again he's really young he's, he's now like 20 20 yeah, yeah. Jesus. yeah. But yeah, ama amazing, yeah. amazing, amazing, <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Right, yeah, no, it's, <laughs> no, it's impressive. It's, no, it really yeah. is. It's extraordinary. Very. And the fact that, you know, he yeah. really believes that and couldn't get that thought out of his mm. head. So I kind of yeah. get the impression that he won't give up until we can't get it out of our heads. <laughs> no, yeah, right? definitely champion it. Right, yeah. it's amazing. It's yeah. absolutely amazing. Mm. So that's all for tonight. Um, thank you so much mm -hmm. for coming yeah, in I know you. you're yeah, yeah. thanks Owen you've Cheers. Yeah. Owen's actually travelled from Singapore yeah. to, to Holland come, to, to the UK here. yeah, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and do I mean yeah okay you had some yeah, time in I made it into a little <laughs> yeah, yeah but it just yeah. you know thank you yeah. thank yeah. you so mm. much yeah. for coming and thanks so much for you know coming down to the design museum with us this morning as well yeah, it's very, very nice to see my name as a designer uh, right? for the first time there you <laughs> go. the first time <laughs> yeah wow. yeah i'm designer now there you go <laughs> at the design Good. museum yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, right? and you might even be winning the uh design of the year yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah first yeah. first yeah. design yeah. <laughs> Never you know, never know. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Absolutely yeah. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so, round of applause again for the boys. Thank you so yeah. much. Well done, man. Um, yes, yeah. Um, we will be back with another session um, next month, uh, May. Gosh, where's the year gone? Um, <laughs> if you do have any questions, if you're watching this on the recording, do use the hashtag again, TF Sessions, um, and we can get them to the guys because we've got their contact details um, so we can get back to you if you do have any so thanks again for watching and being part of this and we will see you again sometime soon somewhere on the planet take care have a good evening or good afternoon wherever you are bye bye, bye.